big sickly. That one's like red. Okay, our fish trap is in. <gasps> oh my god! Look at the amount, dude! Jaguar! We got a freaking Jaguar! Look at that one! Wait, guys, hold on, hold on. Bro, what is that? Our new African cichlids. Check those guys out. Oh, he looks so sick, dude. Oh my gosh. What is up, VFP Nation? Welcome back to another awesome video. Today, I already know it's gonna be a crazy video because we're here at the same spot we were at last video where we caught those crazy African cichlids. Now, you guys in the comments, help me out. And uh, also in the DM, some of you DM me a lot of information on what we caught that day. So we know a little bit more about it. So basically, I'm, I'm gonna pop up a picture right now on what they are. They come from a place called Lake Victoria in Africa. And yeah, they're just super cool fish. Last video, we caught a few of them here in this little canal chain. And uh, we're at the same canal today just at a different part and this is the perfect spot i think to put a fish trap that's what we're doing today a lot of you guys suggested that we do come back with a fish trap and just try to catch a bunch of cool fish now we're not only going for those crazy african cichlids we're also going for anything else exotic my guess is because you know since those are in here some other really cool stuff should be in here as well now right here i'm at like a crossroads it's like this canal leads to this canal and then it leads to that canal so it's like a a crossroads i thought this was the perfect spot to do the fish trap and i walked up here to this little pipe area and man this is just perfect for it i'm seeing so many fish like look down there oh look at that big fish oh <gasps> what the heck is that dude that is a monster tilapia there's so many fish here dude i mean i'm looking right now and i'm already seeing a few of these african cichlids on the bottom but uh yeah like i said we got our fish trap here my favorite one this should catch a lot of fish today and uh for bait we're using good old bread so uh yeah we got this canal here we got we got this guy over here but it says do not enter so we're not going to place it over here and then we got that canal right there but that's really shallow so i think this is where we're going to place it this is a perfect spot for it so yeah and this is like a deeper section and this is where the huge pipe is so we're going to place the fish trap here leave it for two hours i think and uh, yeah guys this should be an epic oh my god i see him i see the african cichlids i see him they're in that shady spot man so yeah we're going to place the fish trap right now Go down there and hit the like button, show your support. We need as many people to see this as possible because this is just awesome. Like catching these aquarium fish out here in a random canal in Florida. This is super, super cool. So yeah, guys, let's get to it. Place our fish trap, cross our fingers, and hopefully we catch something cool to bring back to the ponds or tanks. Also later on in the video, I'm gonna show you a big surprise. Uh, we did a major update to the koi pond and it looks insane. I'm gonna put you on my chest, get this fish trap in the water. Okay, let's get our fish trap, open it on up. Haven't used this guy in a while. Hopefully it didn't rip or anything crazy. Looks good. All right, we should be good. I'm thinking about putting it in the pipe, sort of, if you know what I mean. I'm pretty sure mollies eat bread as well, so. Oh my God, there's another pipe. Oh yeah. This pipe leads to that canal, and this pipe leads to, oh, oh, big cichlid. Big cichlid, that one's like red. Oh my God, big cichlid just swam out of the pipe. Okay, see, <gasps> another one. Okay, I know you guys can't see that, I'm sorry, but okay. So our theory stands. There's a lot of fish going in and out of here. So we're just going to put a bunch of bread in the fish trap. Let's see. That should be good. We want to get a lot of fish. So lots of bread. Keep them coming in. And the rest, we're going to chum out here. Man, I'm so excited to see what we get today, guys. Seriously, though, like all you guys who commented and, uh, you know, shared your knowledge of what we caught yesterday was super, super cool. I love doing that. Catching something I don't know anything about or little to none and having you guys educate me on it and we all learn together it's really cool all right we'll put a little bit more in the fish trap and we should be good to go let's zip it on up because if we don't they can just swim straight out basically if you guys don't know how a fish trap works or at least this kind um the fish they see the bread they can't get in through here so they only have two ways of going in and that is the ends see it actually looks like it's closed but a fish can you know pry itself through and just swim straight in and once they're in this is what they're going to do they, they won't be able to find the hole because it's so like loose right here that is how this works let's go ahead and place our fish trap hopefully there's no gators in here the guy who lives here just came out and said that there's a big gator in these canals so let's try and not let him get us okay our fish trap is in now let's get the rope and just put it right here so it doesn't float away on us there we go guys the fish trap is set, and uh, now we wait. Now it's just a big waiting game here. Oh my God, oh, careful. Now it's just a big waiting game. We gotta wait. Uh, right now it's like three o'clock, it gets dark at six, so I might wait an hour and a half to two hours here 
just to really make sure we get some fish. But uh, yeah, guys, this is gonna be epic. I also brought the cast net. Now, I'm not insanely good at it like my friends, but I'm gonna try it a couple times, uh, throw it around and see if we can catch anything with the cast net right here. I just bought it, so hopefully we get something good on it. So yeah, we're not gonna throw the cast net here because I don't wanna spook anything near my fish trap, so we're gonna drive down the road a little bit, find another spot where it opens up a little bit, throw it a couple times, and then we'll be back here to check our fish trap, guys. Comment down below what you think we're gonna get. Let's do it. Now, I just remembered I should probably drop a pin here to remember where my fish trap is because if I don't, I probably wouldn't find it. This is this is very confusing, this area. It all looks the same. And uh, yeah, it took me a while just to find that area. So we dropped the pen. We're not going to lose it. Oh my God, it's an albino tilapia. Dude, it's an albino tilapia. Holy crap. Look at that. Albino tilapia, dude. That'd be cool. Oh, 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 we got stuff. Oh, we got stuff. Oh, did it get out? Oh, we got him. No colors on him though, but yeah, that's that's one of the African cichlids. And we caught a Mayan cichlid. We'll throw him back. Doll colored, two doll colored little African cichlids. Those are really cool. Nice, dude, see how easy it is? They're loaded in here. All right, there you guys go. Oh, shoot. Hey, I'm getting better. At least I can throw it now. The tree, the tree was in the way. It's the tree's fault. Okay, what you just saw was, uh, it looked like 30 seconds of, of footage or, or whatever, but it was actually like an hour, an hour and a half of me driving around trying to find a spot to throw the, the net, me throwing the net and failing, me throwing the net pretty good and then not catching anything and then catching those two African cichlids. So I think I'm gonna check the fish trap soon because yeah, that's what I'm good at. I'm good at fish traps. We're gonna stick to fish traps. But man, that is tiring. I threw that thing like 50 times. Next time you'll see me, we're gonna be at the fish trap and we're gonna be checking it and we're gonna have something insane. Right guys? Come on guys, you're the only fish I caught. Oh, hey, chill bro. Chill, chill, chill. Look, oh, so pretty. Not really, he's literally just white. But that is an African cichlid. Ooh, the belly's kind of cool. Got a little orange on him. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is time. Uh, it is make it or break it right here. We're here at the fish trap spot. Now, if we don't get anything in the fish trap, then I'm gonna be really sad because we caught like nothing in the net trap. And uh, yeah, we're just relying on our fish trap right here. I have good feelings about it though because when I placed the fish trap, I saw tons of fish and it's a fish trap. Like I'm pretty good at fish traps and I have a strong feeling that we're gonna catch something in it. So it's right over there. Let's go check it guys, cross your fingers. Okay. Oh, something was just right there. Let's put the bucket up there. Actually, let's fill the bucket up first. Just in case. You gotta be prepared. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're gonna pull it up. I'm being quiet. I don't wanna spook anything. Oh my god! 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 Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Dude, holy crap! Look at the amount! Dude! Oh my god! I'm shaking right now! Holy crap! Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Oh my god! I don't, I don't know what to do, bro. And look at the colors on this one! Oh! Dude! Jaguar! We got a freaking Jaguar! Bro, I haven't caught a jaguar in so long. Oh my God, look at this one. Look at that. Oh, that is so sick. Okay, we're gonna start putting these fish in there. It looks like they're all cichlids, so they, they should be good out of the water for a little bit, but oh my God. Lots of these cichlids, dude. That's what I was wanting. Look at that one. Oh my gosh. And it's not even that sunny out right now. You can't even see their full colors, but they still look so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Look at that, dude. Look at the blue on them. I hope you guys are keeping count because I definitely am not. Oh my God, what is this? Wait, wait guys, hold on, hold on. Easy buddy, easy. Oh my God, oh my God. Oh, dude, is that what I think that is? Dude, what just happened? That's a jewel cichlid and it's the size of my hand. That is a jewel cichlid the size of my freaking hand, bro. Yo! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? What is that? Oh my- Okay, hold on. 
We got more. We got our Jaguar. Freaking sick. And lots and lots of these African cichlids. Tons of these guys. Look at this guy. Look at that, dude. Beautiful. Okay, we just caught something insane. Uh, I don't want to freak out yet, but I think whew, that is insane. All right, last guy. There we go. Okay, I think I think we got a normal jewel cichlid in here too. Let me let me try and grab him. Here he is. This okay for reference, guys. This right here is called a jewel cichlid, right? Get a good look at him. Okay, so you got a good look at the the jewel cichlid, right? Now let me show you this fish that we just caught. Oh my God, bro. What is this? Holy crap. Oh, it's so hard to tell the purple on camera, dude. It's freaking purple. Look at that. Bro, what is that? That looks like a jewel, but it's freaking massive. They don't get that big. There's no way. Okay, from first sight, it sounds a little crazy, but it looks like a jewel cichlid, um, Mayan cichlid hybrid. It's got like the body and the, the dotted tail like a Mayan but the colors are kind of jewel cichlid-ish. Holy crap, bro. Not to mention we caught a freaking jaguar. This is called a jaguar and uh, another species of cichlid right here. I haven't caught one in so long and I actually, I've been wanting to go catch them, but I just don't know any good spots for them. But uh, I think we might put this guy in our tank because they are so cool. And lots of these African cichlids, which we caught in the last video. Look at this, look at the freaking blue. Oh, that is beautiful, dude. And the yellow and the green, wow. Holy crap, all right. I have a cooler in the back filled with water. Uh, these guys need more area, so we're gonna go dump those guys in there. There we go. All right, they'll be good in here until we get home. Lots of water for them. Woo. Guys, I think we just found our new fish trap spot. So uh, we're gonna head home with all of our fish. We're gonna explain what we're gonna do with all of them. I have plans for every fish we have today. So yeah, crazy day today. If you guys want me to come back and make a part two, I'm definitely going to anyways, but go down there, show some support, like and comment. I read every comment. So the more support you guys show on this video, the more I'll come back and do more videos here. I mean, this is such a cool spot. But uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you back at my house where we put our new fish in their new homes. Okay guys, it is the next morning. Uh, when I get back to the house yesterday, it was too dark to film. So we're starting it up the next morning and I don't know if I've showed it yet accidentally, but I'm gonna show you the big old surprise here with the koi pond. Boom, look at that. Oh my God, dude, it is so cool. I decided to get some lily pads the other day and one reason is because you know it's really good for the pond it, it's like a natural filtration system pretty much yo bruce bruce loves it look at them the fish love it it gives them cover and it just looks really nice but it adds a whole new aspect to the pond i mean i could put so many more fish in there but yeah it looks so good it looks like a natural pond now and i actually did some rock work here and i and i hid the pond liner a lot better so you can't really see the pond liner and so it just looks a lot better I also put some in the pool ponds as well, some lily pads, just cause you know, why not? But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about the koi pond and it's little upgrade. I think it looks sick. I put a little filter on the fish overnight and they are doing great. So right now we're gonna net them out and sort them into these buckets. Um, one bucket is for the fish that we're gonna put in the Paku pond in the back. And then this bucket will be for the fish that we put into our fish tank. Let's try to get this big big guy out i actually found out what this guy is yesterday one of you guys oh he swam straight into the net one of my subscribers actually told me what this guy was on instagram and it's actually called a jack dempsey look at him dude look at the purple look at the blue wow that is so cool dude so yeah this is called a jack dempsey and i've heard of them but i've never seen one before so when i caught this guy i thought he was like a huge jewel cichlid now we have a jack dempsey in our little fish collection so yeah to all you fish experts who knew that that was a jack dempsey when i caught it and was like cringing when i was like oh my god jewel cichlid mine cichlid hybrid i just had no clue i've never seen a jack dempsey i have no clue what they look like so we're gonna put him in a fish tank i don't know if we're gonna put him in the african cichlid tank or one of the smaller ones inside now let's try and get the jaguar there we go there's the jaguar another really cool cichlid and I think the rest we're gonna put into the Paku Pond. These are all just like the African cichlid dudes. Nice. Yeah, I got a nice little plan for all these, all these guys. Jeez, we cut a lot, dude. 
I didn't realize we caught this many. Look at that one, dude. Look at the fins on them. Gosh, that is insane. Look at the blues, dude. Like, you just don't see that in the wild too often. And last one. There we go. All right, we got all the fish out. Now, first, let's go put all these African cichlids into the Paku Pond. And I'll explain what I'm gonna do with them, why I'm putting them in there. Look at this. Look at the lily pads, dude. They look so cool. I still need to get more rocks to fill on that side, but uh, yeah, the lily pads definitely make it look a lot better and the fish love it. There we go. Our new African cichlids. Check those guys out. Come on, be free. Look at the blues on them. There they go. Now, before any of you guys go into the comments and go, oh my God, the Paku's gonna eat them or whatever. Don't worry, I've been testing this for literally months now. I have had three jewel cichlids in here just as like a little test subject and all of them are still alive and the Paku don't mess with them. Now, my goal with this is to create like a breeding ground for these cichlids. I'm gonna create a lot more structure, a lot more, you know, rock pieces, more lily pads, more rocks. And I'm just gonna create a big cichlid pond with all these crazy cichlids we catch in the wild. Maybe we buy some, but this is gonna be the Paku and cichlid farm from now on. And hopefully we get them to breed. Here we go, we got our little Jack Dempsey guy. Look at the colors, dude. Look at the gold flakes on its head, the blue spots, the dark purple is so cool. All right, buddy, here you go. Oh, he looks so cool. Oh, he looks so sick, dude. Oh my gosh. I've wanted one of these guys for a while. They're so cool. Oh, there's our other new one. All right, there's the Jag. There goes the Jag. And we also still have these guys from the first time we caught them. Uh, and they're still in the tank. I think we got four in here. And we're just gonna keep these guys in here um, for a couple more days, just cause I don't feel like trying to catch them out right now. Also, while we're in here, I'll show you our little Gar. He's doing great. And also our albino crawfish. There he is under there. The African cichlids and Paku are actually mingling right now. I'm watching them. Look at them over there. The albino Paku is with them. That's so sick. Anyways, guys, that'll do it for today's video. If you did enjoy, hit the like button, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.